Hey. What? Hey. I'm getting my pump on. Hold on. I'm getting my pump on. It's, it's already All pumped. Right, it's just, always just, there. Just tell me when we're starting. We, we, we are starting. We are here. We are live. What the hell would you start for when I'm over here working out? <laughs> You're not supposed to know that I get pumped up before these things every time that I always... Pump the bands up, you just gave away the whole secret. They're supposed to think that I just walk around like this all the time. And what the f... Alright, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Do you guys see the difference? Welcome to the Russian and the Freak Show, episode number seven, as I rudely got interrupted in trying to get my pump on, because you know it's all about the pump. It's all about the squeeze. All day. And, yes, we get a pump on right before the... Right before the... What's up, little Freak Show? Right before every recording, every show, you gotta get your pump on. What, what else is it for? That's all it's about is the pump. We are here, episode number seven. We're gonna be talking about freak, family, health, fitness, nutrition, how to make it happen in the crazy freak family, your, your craziness of your household. Each week, the Russian and the Freak Show is about how to maintain your equilibrium and function in a dysfunctional world as a freak family in business and life so you can transform your chaotic complexity into your own personal normalcy. And this is episode number seven. Yes, episode number seven. So uh, today we're going to be talking about family, fitness, nutrition. We're going to talk to you about, about your grocery shopping, supplements. But here comes the thing. As a whole, our crazy family, we started the trend, obviously, uh, with with workouts back in the day when we opened up the spring ball gym I was pregnant and then kind of when Tyson was born you know he kind of was dragged into all the workouts so that's how the whole thing started and now the little freak show Ivanka is doing them uh, doing the workouts with us but let's start from the beginning because we know that for some of you it's difficult to manage the household, the 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 and and the family and the fitness. I we know this because sometimes you guys send us a message and asking us, you know, how do you guys do that? That you always find the time for everything. You are so put together and organized. How do you guys do this? They say you're together. They I say I talk together. Am I am I put together? Yeah, and, and thanks for the memo. No, <laughs> apparently I didn't get the fucking memo that it's prom day today on on the Russian the Freak show. I'm here in a. a my workout clothes just finished doing my workout and it, apparently it's prom dress up day it's always a prom dress up day that's what he does do you know the secret here's the secret this is what this show is really all about how to be prepared for things in your health and your fitness and your beauty and your nutrition here's the the russian secret okay what you got to do is after your workout you go take a shower right then you go get your hair done for about four or five fucking hours from there, you gotta shoot directly over to the nail salon and let them put some shit on your nails, some some stuff. And then, if you're feeling really crazy and frisky, you have them do your toes. Those poor women that have to deal with those toes. And you do all that to come home, so that you're all prepared and ready to go out and get the fucking mail. That's the way. That's the Russian secret. That's exactly how it, how it goes. No, but seriously. Uh, no, I was serious. The prom day is every day. We know, we girls know, when you go on camera, you better be put together, right? Why not? That's how we roll. But guys, listen up. Uh, we know, we, if, if this whole thing with the family, nutrition, grocery, and everything, running the whole show every single day would be so easy, everybody always would be walking around feeling great, looking great. But this can be easy when you have organization you have certain habits you have it all put together so stay tuned because we're gonna tell you how our family does it what we are doing how we improved our lives with certain things and I'm I you might take some notes or maybe take something out of this whole show together because it, let's let's take put it this notes. take some notes. he's taking some notes. workout shower hair now, <laughs> crusty toes. Get the other fucking mail. Okay, there, I've got. About, oh, I want more I've got. I've got the. I've got the notes. The little one. Yes. So, as 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 some of you are messaging us, we know this that sometimes it's just difficult for you to 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 think. Okay, this is my only one time throughout the day to work out, 
and this is my time, but then I have my kids or my family time, and I hear this all the time. Even my nurse today, when I went to the doctor, she said to me, you know, after after my workout, I, I just do my workout in my head, I, I don't practice. I said, what's good is working out in your head, you need to put an action. But she said, you know, I go home and all the chaos starts. And we know that the chaos starts for you guys a lot of times. in her head, that's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. She, and, and, and that's what she said. I said, but working out, just preparing for this uh, one day, someday, which is not on our seven days a week schedule, someday it's not existing there, right? It's Monday through Sunday, it, it will never happen. So. We know that this sometimes it's a struggle, but we wanted to show you guys that this can happen and how this can happen. Just stay tuned. So on your Instagram camera, you have it like you're centered on it and you have like half of my elbow and like uh, my ass crack can on I there fix and it that's now? it. A little too late now. Oh, you know. I'm trying I to cut off the, I, I did all that flexing for what, for no reason. My arm's going to be cut off in the thing. I did all, the, all that was band work that I was rudely interrupted on during my workout. So we're going to talk about starting with fitness, and we're going to, overall, we're going to talk about building lifelong habits, automatic habits for you, your family, for your kids, and anyone else that you have an influence on and are able to have influence and persuasion on. Lifelong automatic habits. This stuff should become automatic. This should become not, this should become the norm. It should become just the way of operating in your household, in your family. And guess what? It starts with you, motherfucker. That's who it starts with. It starts with you because if you're working out in your head or some other dumb shit like that, then you're going to get nowhere. But if you're having your habits and you have your stuff right now, you have your routines with your workouts, specific times, like these little freaks know what days and times, what types of workouts are each day. They know which days and times we're all working out together. They know what days and times that she's going to do the Russian stripper ballerina class that I'm going to be doing something different like that was today. Yes. So they know... They know what times different workouts get done, and they and the kid they even automatically know what wait how to prepare for each one of those workouts because we created that habit. It's just automatic. It's just part of life. It's like fucking breathing. It's just the way it is, and it's automatic on the schedule. No matter what, it doesn't get broken for anything. No matter what it is, the workouts will take priority because without them, without that discipline and consistency, you're not gonna. Have that durability and strength and endurance and energy to last throughout the day on the, in the crazy, hectic business or whatever the hell else you have to deal with and all your running around bringing your kids to all kinds of, of stuff. Like I, I'll bring them to jujitsu tonight at, at 5 p.m. But this is all planned, guys. So I wasn't actually done with it, that. But, uh, yeah, I had to jump because you are going into the project more already. You even call them names. That's the project. It's project mode all the time. We are it projecting. Really we are projecting. We call it, we say project that shit. And that's what you need to do. You need to think about it. the project that we have coming up starting this Tuesday is, is, is kickstarting. And we have a saying in there. We say project that shit. Like whenever something hard comes up or something you know you need to just bite the fucking bullet and get it done, we say project that shit. And that's what you need to think about with your workouts at home with your family. It needs to just become automatic. Nothing to stop you. Nothing to get in the way. And... Here's how we go with the workouts. So we all have our routine of the workouts. We know which days I teach a class live online, what times, and even what type of class it is, whether it's boot camp, whether it's boxing, whether it's strength, whether it's cardio. We know exactly what's coming up every single day, every single week, for months and years and fucking decades. Like, not literally, decades. Same thing with her classes that she teaches. We know which one is which, which type is going to need the stripper pole, which type do you need your fucking high heels, which type is going to be some ballet bullshit, all this Russian twisting and all this uh, left arm up in the air while your right leg is balancing and twisting on a BOSU ball where you have a T-Rex wrapped around your fucking neck and all this other weird shit they come up with. So we know the type, not to laugh. We know the type of, of stuff that's going to get done. And, and the kids know because it's, it's automatic. This is in the calendar. Because if it's not in the calendar, it's not going to get fucking done. And... We know exactly what type of workouts out there are, so we know how to prepare the, how to prepare our schedule. We know how to eat for the workouts, and we're going to get to the nutrition in a second. But knowing the schedule, knowing the routine, making it automatic, I know that what days I'll be working out with the entire family, what days I'll just be working out with Tyson, what days I'll just be working out with the midget, what days just the two of us are working out, what days it's all of us, because most of the time it is all of us together, but that doesn't happen all the time, and it shouldn't happen all the time. You should be able to find days in the week sometimes where you can have your own focused you could just put a, a headphones on and listen to some some music or a motivational book or something 
while you're training where you could just go laser beam focused. You don't have to have any discussion or conversation because when we're all together, it's fucking chaos and craziness. We're having fun. We're getting a hell of a workout in, but we're also connecting and bonding and talking and bullshitting. And I'm screaming at people for doing stupid shit while I'm in the middle of like squeezing out a last bench press, a little midget will come flying by on a skateboard and bump into my elbow and the weight just breezes by my face and almost knocks me out and I can't afford to take any more damage to the facial region because it's fucked up enough as it is. So when we're all together, I don't even remember what the fuck we're talking about. When we're all together, it's, it's craziness. But you need those times also sometimes when you can just be by yourself and hold yourself accountable and fucking motivate yourself. You don't have to worry about having a conversation. I don't have to worry about talking to the the kids about stuff during the workout or whatever else it is. And you need to be able to do that guilt-free. She needs to know how to balance the two and she's going to go a little deeper into that in a second. But also, if you know that you you had your time, your, your time playing with the kids different parts of the day for reading, for playing, for going outside, for taking them to jujitsu practice, you're going to spend plenty of time with them. Those days where you need to work out by yourself because of, for your own mental and, and whatever reasons, because you want to get a different type of workout, a different type of energy, not have to worry about talking and bonding and connecting. You don't have to feel guilty about it because you know you have those other things planned for the, for the family too. So it's all connected together. It leads to better fitness. It leads you getting in better shape to be able to, to, to balance that act of, of sometimes by yourself and sometimes with the little freak shows. Both are possible. Yes, and think about the quality instead of quantity a lot of times i see also moms or families there's so much time being given to the family but it's not a quality time it's just the amount of it's like it's such a quantity so also look at this like look at your days guys we're coming into the weekend and it's a great time i think for you to look and spend some time for the next week and next and next week and maybe weeks in advance and see figure out the calendar okay if you've had a struggle and problem fitting the workouts in maybe plan maybe monday will be workout on your own tuesday will be with your kids wednesday will be with your spouse somehow that you can connect and lead as a parent lead for the kids because remember it's we talking about being influencer being being a leader teaching them the foundation that it's the most important thing in life which is your health and your fitness guys we we all we know that this is so important everybody knows that we all all want to have a great energy and feel he healthy and happy right we want to look good who doesn't but it requires effort great attitude putting in a calendar and w people just don't want to do this and the part comes down to just sit down with your spouse sit down with your kids if you're single parents figure this out together this weekend and i guarantee you that next week you're gonna have an amazing week that think about it one workout uh, amazing endorphins boost of energy and feeling great and confident why are you staring at me how much, Not how you much money would you would it cost to get you to shave your head and shave your eyebrows how much okay, uh, what how much why what would it take no no why no, just, why? i don't know it just popped in my head i don't know i don't think that it, would you it's shave your head problem. that'd be kind of cool we did this with like two shaved heads i would do well, the we need to shave our eyebrows right something just stopped why did that camera stop so, keep rolling guys I I don't know. Maybe there if there would be a price for this. Maybe I'm not sure. We were talking about this one time. How much money would it be? But this is a distraction. I don't know why you wanted to shave my head. It would be easier, less money to spend. <laughs> well, this thing is costly. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about your schedule, and your time to figure this out and not postponing, not telling me or him. Someday, someday doesn't exist. It will never happen, guys. Someday, it's not. It's not. We have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So let's talk about moving. You have already done. Your schedule is figured out. Let's put it this way. Now let's talk about pre-workout and post-workout supplementation. Well, when it just like everything else, it needs to become automatic. It needs to become part of the family thing. Like we have our habits of. Pre-workouts, I have different pre-workout stuff. I, 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 suggest, I, I, re, I like to have uh, snort a couple lines of cocaine. It just gives me a good little boost and, and gives me some energy for the workout. And I also, before I do these live videos, 
She has uh, the things that she does. And the kids see the habits of what you're doing. They see you preparing stuff before you work out. They see I'm you. Sorry, did you guys just heard what he said? They see you before the workout. They see you before the workout. Also preparing your post-workout shake, right? So thinking they're and, and they're picking up those habits that you're doing. So everything you do, they're they're soaking it up. Whether they know it, even consciously, subconsciously, they're soaking it up, and they're going to start building those habits. So they. They see you preparing a pre-workout. Okay, that motherfucker's getting ready for something. Then they'll see you preparing a post-workout. That's for later, for after the workout. Like, why would you possibly be doing it then? Because you're going to be prepared. So you're not wasting any time. The second you're done, you can start the recovery process. And they start understanding this because they ask questions. Why are you doing that now if it's not until later? And it's so you can start the recovery process right away. So what do they do? They start making their own pre-workouts. And they're luckily, they are not into the cocaine, so they're all good. But they'll take some of the healthy supplements that, that there is, you know, it's just water and like, like True Lean's Everyday Fit. They'll mix in like, they see me mixing in like 10 different things in my concoctions between True Lean and Herbalife and the sprinkle of the, the special sauce. But then they'll, they'll see that. So they want to mix in also concoctions. They want to be just like you. So if you're fucking sitting on your ass and bullshitting, that's the habits you're teaching them to do on their own in their own fitness. So they want to do it. So they make us order like seven different flavors of everyday fit from True Lean. We have a cabinet of the mm -hmm. True Lean stuff because it's for just hydration, for energy, and there's no caffeine in it, so it's just fucking Same. awesome. Awesome for them. And they they take like a, a, an eighth of a scoop of each flavor and they put it in their little pre-workout container thing and some ice and shake it up. They see me shaking it up and sipping it and refilling it and they just copy the exact same thing. They need to have like eight different things to put in there so it's like a concoction. And then they'll drink it and they'll act like it gave them all this energy and they start acting all crazy and weird but they were fucking crazy and weird long before they ever had any kind of supplements or whatever. So they see what you're doing before the workout, after workout. They see how you're eating the morning leading up to the workout, how your meals are spaced out, how it's the types of foods that you're eating like they, they know what carb loading is things like that like these are the things you need to know so you can teach to your kids so they're becoming healthy adults the number one thing as a, a role model as a leader and this doesn't just go in your family this goes in business goes anywhere one of the number one things you need to be thinking of that what makes a leader a leader is someone who can create more leaders someone who can create the future leaders that's what leadership is if you're just a leader that's getting a bunch of followers that are just following along and not able to think for themselves, not challenging themselves, that's not a leader. I don't know what the fuck that is, but you need to create future leaders. That's what we're thinking about. Creating, teaching them how to think, teaching them the habits so they can become leaders themselves. That's a fucking force multiplier. Think about that. The people around you, the impact you're having is so small compared to what they're going to have once they spread that out in their life to the world. That's why uh, Jam Peak Physique was so successful always, not only as far as the members go. Our members know so much from being a part of Peak. But then obviously the, the coaches that we had, it was all about teaching pro, uh, pro, process, right? So they will take away so much stuff. It was all about the knowledge. So kids having fun at home, but you guys really take a note of this today that if you are unhealthy, you're setting up the worst possible habits for your children. And as we're going to mention the grocery shopping, and I'm going to tell you this, this is going to connect to it, but you are responsible for their health because they don't do this stuff on their own. Look at this. They copy of you. Like why some children are already so overweight when they are little because they look at the parents. You need to look at yourself and take really uh, feedback and think this is my fault. I need to take care of myself so I can take care of my children. And uh, what also we've been, we've been talking about this in this whole process of teaching our kids, it's even showing them the labels of the food. Can you imagine? They understand, they know, they read the label and they know what's good, what's not. They know what artificial colors are. They know what are uh, protein, what, what is carbohydrate, how much calories in it. We give them the overall idea what's good, what's not, so they can grow up as independent independent kids. And this is important. And I'm not saying that you guys are, some of you that will be watching this, you're not in the fitness industry, right? You do something else. 
but you can learn this and if you don't know send us a message and we will tell you quick this is gonna take a few seconds that you will we can even tell them really what it is it's it, it, it's so simple that you guys can learn and boom you're gonna have an a, a GPS for yourself system and teach your kids because that's what it starts usually it starts from not really knowing understanding this so send us a message we can teach you we can even set up a zoom call for you guys and tell you exactly what you should, you should do what you should eat how you should do it and then you can transform this to your kids so as Steve said they know about the carb load they know about truly they know about herbal life there is a saying always at night time not in the morning in the morning I drink the shakes sometimes they have the shake in the morning they have healthy breakfast but at night time I hear this alternate all, all the time. What, what do you guys say? How do you guys say it? They're going to be shakes. Yes. And they repeat this. And I pretty much know it's time for the shakes. It's like this is the call for me. I make the shakes. And we make them in all different ways. I literally have to make four different shakes for everyone. Everyone, everyone is different. Everybody has their own flavor. But we drink Herbalife or we drink a mix of, of Trulin. And it's delicious because there is no stimulants in it. It's natural, it's healthy, and you got to start thinking that shake supplementation can be and should be a part of your day. Why is like this? Let me tell you. Some people say, I'm not going to be using uh, no fake stuff. I'm not, this is no fake. Why supplements have been created? Why companies have created supplements? First of all, it's for your quick recovery, but also for the times of your day when you sit at the desk and you work so hard and you miss your meals. So that's when the supplementation comes in place. That's where you can grab a bar. That's when you can grab, grab a nutritional shake. Because if you do not eat often, you are going not to lose weight, first of all. You're going to gain weight from not eating. Because if you do not eat enough, your body will be storing fat and you will not lose the weight. So we're telling you this today and now that you need to learn this. You don't know, send us a message and we will tell you and explain it to you how it's being done. So that's our routine. Maybe you can create a routine at your home. Maybe you can have a shake time. Maybe you can have a shake party at night time. Start today. Today is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Why are we talking about those two companies? Because Herbalife has been known for over 40 years and it's been known on the market as a as a not just a supplements for weight loss, but it's nutritional, making people happy and healthy. And truly, it's all about natural supplements, and it's it's a lot of different they, a lot of different flavors for the enhancers of the waters. And it's great. It's great also for kids. So we chose these companies. Uh, you want to follow us? You want to? You like what you see? You like what you hear? You see our workouts? You see how you look? You want to follow us? You want to know some some more uh, about this pro about this topic? I'm almost done. I'm almost Holy done. Holy shit! Almost Apparently, done. I wasn't the only one with the cocaine. Today. <sighs> like, for instance, this no, post workout. This post work. This post workout shake. Twelve feet is apart. prepared. Is prepared downstairs. I could t if I could take these. There's like eight cameras here from all the different s social medias. I could show you. There's little canisters set up that say pre on them and post on them. They're all prepared and they're all ready. And the thing is, I didn't put those together. All my vitamins are separated for the AM, for the PM, for the pre-workout. They're all separated in different can canisters for the entire week. I didn't do those either. Little Freak Show Tyson does those. He gets paid to do it, but it saves me so much time to have to make the make the drinks to separate all the different powders. He knows exactly how much to put in each. He has a list that tells him how much to put of each supplement into each thing that we use. But now he memorized it after doing it for a couple weeks, and he just throws it all together. It's all ready. He probably fucks with me. He probably puts my post-workout in my pre-workout, <laughs> and he puts the pre-workout in the post-workout. Probably just to fuck with me, because he's such a little wise ass. Listen. So I've been wondering why shit's been feeling off. Like... I'm feeling like I'm recovering during I'm working out and during the after I'm like all fucking wired. I don't know what that kid does, but I think he does the fuck with me. He's like, yeah, motherfucker, here, check this out. <laughs> I told him today, I said, what have you been doing with the pre-workout and post-workout daddy's um, powders? He says, what? I said, daddy looks so buffed. He's been looking really good recently. He looks at me like, really? I don't know. He's up to something. You better check. And then not only that, so there are all these little separate can canisters that are ready for the entire week. The pre-workout, post-workout, three different groups of vitamins that he separates. And then on top of that, he'll even knows how much he puts it in with a certain amount of ice and it's ready. Like, 
He has this so broken down. He knows what each one of those supplements is for, what it does, how much to have before the workout, how much to have after workout. Do you think for a second that's not going to carry over into his own discipline and habits as an adult and already now with nutrition? Like, they'll look at something and be like, holy crap, we can't eat that. Like, the food gave them some lunches to take home. Don't, we can't eat that. It's so much fat and carbs. And there's no protein in it. It's all garbage. It's all, look at all these art, artificial blue, yellow, lake, four, seven, all this other bullshit. Like, they'll read it and know it. <coughs> they didn't learn that on their own. They certainly as fuck didn't learn that in school. school. Definitely not. So it's up to you to lead yourself so you can lead others and create them to be the future leaders of your family, of <coughs> the fucking country. And it's needed now more than ever not to be negative and unhealthy and all this other bullshit. And look, if the school already would know this, would have known this, they would have never even made the decision to buy this in the first place. Corn dogs and unhealthy uh, uh, corn mixes and other unhealthy fried foods. Because some, so many kids will take this home, they're going to eat this and nobody would stop them. So guys, uh, it's up to you as a parent to take a look and teach your kids. But how can you teach them the right things if you don't know your own right things? It's not going to carry over. So let's make sure that you guys contact us, send us a message. And if, even if there will be an after request, we can put a Zoom, we can put another call. It's up to you. We can talk about nutrition even more in details for you guys so you can learn and teach your I mean, you're going to talk about it more than yes. you are? Holy yes. Fuck. So let's talk about the ordering online, right? It's, it, we started for a long time, long, long time ago. And... Honestly, in the beginning, I didn't like it. It was that habit that I have to go to the grocery store, look around, buy stuff. And then I've realized a lot of times, you go to the store, you buy stuff that you don't even need. Not I don't know that, it's just a waste of the... time. It's just a waste of time. Like Even me making these shakes myself and preparing them, it's really a waste of time. Stuff, time that I can use doing something else, more productive, something for the business, creating some experiences, making some more money. Like... Just that, like teaching when they're doing these these things and they see the online shopping going on and then the stuff gets delivered to your door. You pay like a few extra bucks. For the amount of time that it saves you, for the money you're spending, it's a, it's a fucking investment. It's an investment in your time. You're basically buying time for a few dollars. Same thing, I'll, I pay Tyson to do this stuff for me. It's delegating. It's also teaching them how to delegate. Okay. Teaching them delegation in the grocery shopping. Shit you don't need to be spending time doing. You could be doing such higher level, more important stuff than just grocery shopping or making your own stuff together, like teaching them de delegation and leadership when it comes down to it. Yes, but let me tell you, I know that some of you love to go grocery shopping. For some of you, some of you, especially ladies, maybe guys too, some, I heard this from people saying, oh, it's time for me to be away from the family. It's time for me to kind of relax. Find a different relaxation for you. I'm telling you this today. Grocery shopping, it's not relaxation. It's wasting your time. There is more things, like Steve said, that it's more important. If grocery shopping is your way, is your like fun for the day, your way of relaxation, you got a lot more fucked up problems than we're talking about yeah. here. And I don't even know if we can even help you. <laughs> so, so don't waste your time. Do it. You can save it in your favorite list. You need certain things. Obviously, we need not all the time. It's not a weekly list. So you can do this, add this as you go along. You can even teach your children to do the same. Ivanka stays with me and she watches me to do that. Soon, probably I will delegate her to do this. Let's order this. Credit card is safe. Boom. It's done. I, they, they will not. I will not let that little girl order the food. There'll be like three bags of fucking marshmallows. Then And then you're going to let her start cooking the food, too. She cooked me dinner one time. It, it had about eight pounds of salt in it. She said, I, 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 I did a little bit too much. I think they do it to fuck with me, is what I think. <laughs> but, yes, she loves marshmallow, but as we know, she cannot have them once in a while. That's but they it. do it. Like, maybe not marshmallows, but there are, whatever, ice creams or whatever the hell else. Some natural-ish type of desserts that they can have, but... We will, they will earn that shit. They will earn it. They'll earn it through hard work, through doing all things you're supposed to be doing, through making sure they worked out that day. They earn their rewards. They earn their desserts. They earn their pizza and whatever else. So it's not like we don't let them have pizza. They'll have pizza once in a while, but they will earn that. They will work hard. They'll eat healthy and, and, you know, most of the time. And they'll still be able to have that shit that, that just kids want to have because something like pizza is just part of being a damn kid. And ice cream, yeah. it's part of being a kid. So don't think, make, think for a second we don't allow them yeah. to have that stuff. Also, they, they earn it. But then when it comes to just them eating shit all the time, like 
listen, motherfucker, they, your little six-year-old Billy didn't jump in the car and go drive over to the grocery store and buy all those cookies and ho-hos and Twinkies and Funny Bones and Yodels and all that other bullshit, okay? You bought that shit and probably as an excuse for you to eat it yourself. So quit the bullshit. Stop bringing that poison into your house. If I could, I would go to every single client's house one by one and do a, I've, I've done it in New Jersey when I used to do in-home personal training. I literally do some surprise inspections, knock on their door, they'd answer it, and I'd rush into their, their kitchen. And this is them being dead serious. And I would start taking their shit and throwing it in the trash. Or taking it and throwing it to a bag and go donate it to a homeless shelter or something like that. And some of the shit would go in the trash because I wouldn't even offer it. It's so fucking poisonous, I wouldn't even give it to a homeless person. That's how bad some of that shit is. So get your shit together and stop bringing that shit into your house. Yeah, and, and obviously the kids... You know, it, I can see with our kids if it's natural way. Look, well, if they love our ice cream, our kids like ice cream, right? And as Steve said, they get the rewards because they're children. But here comes the thing: they still I've noticed, ask that, me, I've noticed their bowl goes pretty quick when, when they're having ice cream. I see you pass by and actually like you're looking at it. No, I've seen you dipping into that. So you guys too. look. Uh, they, this is the thing: they still gonna test me, or they still gonna test us. Can I have ice cream? They're still going to ask. No matter what, how, how, how um, habit-oriented they are and they t see this. And that's when comes the knowledge. I said, no, don't learn the bad habits that throughout the week. You're going to have it maybe on the weekend. Don't, because it's so easy. Also, you think like, okay, they earn the, war the rewards. That's like you. Think about like you. You work out. And it's like, oh, okay, so I worked out so much. I've been doing so good this week. Let me have a reward. Sometimes people do this on a daily basis. Maybe you've done it. You've worked out, and then at the end of the day, you think, I burned 700 calories, which is bullshit. And then you're going to say, oh, now I can earn. I earned this this uh, latte from, uh, from Starbucks. And at the end of the day, actually, the Starbucks has 800 calories. So you didn't earn really anything. And that's the wrong idea of working out and being rewarded. So don't bring this to your children. Just because they worked out, they can get a reward. That doesn't work like this. Think this is all being healthy and once in a while having something. Like you, once in a while, but then also after when you lost the weight. You know, like if we want something, we could have it. But it's going to be once in a while. It's not going to be every single day just because we did the workout. Because sooner or later, this would have shown on your weight, on the way how you look, on the scale. That's not how it works. Once in a while. So. So you get the point that your family's health, fitness, nutrition is up to you as the leader, as the role model. And it's really, you're setting them up for either future failure or future success. It's up to you. It starts with their fitness, their nutrition, their strength. It, it affects so much. Obviously, we know that. Getting the right amount of exercise in and nutrition. We don't need to keep beating that over the head with. And the right amount of sleep and hydration. Like, this shit starts with you. This is all into the realm of health and fitness. But this is the foundation of every single bit of success that we've had in our family, in our businesses. Every single bit has had the foundation and has get, gets the, the credit goes to having a, an automatic habits of health and fitness and nutrition like above everything else non-fucking negotiable like that is the foundation before anything you need to have that shit in order said it last week when we talked about is creating your environment for success is every house the two top folks in your house should be building a home gym and building a home library those two things your mind and your body that's going to set you up for success in all areas of life that's going to set up your kids for success your family for success so you need to make it happen Yes, and I know that some of you, you guys are at home and maybe you and your spouse are not on the same page in a way like one of you are not eating healthy, the other one is eating healthy. Well, for the sake of both of you and your children, if you have, you need to. You need to really come in agreement. And if you are the stronger one that knows the habits, good habits of eating, you need to slowly implement this and help your spouse to achieve the other things. Sometimes it's not easy. It doesn't happen overnight. But make that priority to do that, okay? So if you need any help with this, you want to join us, take this discussion a little further, get some help in coaching and guidance and mentoring and all this, just send a message below or just send a private message, an email, a fucking smoke signal, whatever you need to do to reach out for some help, for some coaching, 
for some guidance. We can help you out either on a one-on-one -on -one basis, in a group basis, online, or even in person out here in Southern California. We will teach you, for men at least, the ultimate version of the ultimate version of leveling up in your fitness and your family when it comes to your health and being a leader to your family and a role model to your family. That's what the project is all about. We have a class coming up next week, completely sold out in April. June is already 85% sold out. August is about 65, 75% sold out. This is sells out months in advance, even for something that costs $12,000. You can imagine why, because it's completely transforming lives. If the project's not for you or you think you might need some one-on-one -on -one high performance, peak performance accountability coaching, send a message on that. We can talk about the operate to dominate in your mind, your body, and your business, and we can get you rolling when it comes to controlling your health, your fitness, your nutrition for both you and your entire family because it all comes down to you being the freaking role model. So put a message below, send me a private message, let us know if you need help with anything. We will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses. No excuses.